Paragliding in the Alps is amazing, but it could be dangerous. How do you know where to go? I've been a paragliding instructor for over 30 years, but when I visit the Alps, I like to fly new places, which means I have no local knowledge. So I need a system to follow to stay safe. In this video, I'll share it with you. I'll show you where the best slopes are, what kind of clouds you want to aim for, and why some places are risky. And you're going to help me navigate through the challenges. Hidden somewhere in the video is a special download for you with the best five flying sites to get started in the Alps. Today we're at Grand Banane in the French Alps. I'm going to take you on an adventure through one of the most amazing areas in the world. We'll get high and fly right over the mountains like a bird. Eagle or chicken, you decide. Choose wisely. So I assume I can't fly very well because I'm human and we make mistakes. It might slow me down for 99 days out of 100, but on the last day, I'm glad I've kept the safety margin. Right, let's get this chicken into the air. First, I check access. Where are you allowed to fly from? Where can you land? The most important landing field is the one directly below the launch site because it gets most of the traffic and getting it wrong can mess up the site for everyone. So I always read the explanation in the Alps guidebook. Find the landing field and check the rules on the board or the club website. Looking at this field, which way should I approach? From the right side or left side? It's a trick question. It depends on the wind direction. If the wind is coming from the right, as it normally does during the afternoon, then you're expected to approach from the upwind side on the right, drift downwind, and do a left turn into the field. But if we go cross country, we might get too low to come back. Then I have to find an emergency landing field. I've prepared a foolproof greeting to explain the situation. Pardon, je suis un idiot. It's always best to lurk on launch until someone else has taken the biggest risk of the day. Is it really flyable? Oui, c'est parfait. We thermal above the top of the hill, which gives us a massive tactical advantage over the hikers down below. From this position, we can go around in circles and stay in the same place. It's better to keep moving forwards on a paraglider, so let's follow the sun instead. It's morning, so I'll stay on the east faces, because they warm up more, so thermals develop above them. If you aim for slopes that make an A shape, it means they have a broad area to feed warm air upwards, and a feeder that will concentrate the thermals into one unified flow, rather than divided into threads. This can make it much easier to climb and much safer to be close to the slope. I hop over to the next obvious sunny flank. It's cooking! I've got to warn you, XC flying isn't without some risk. There will be some turbulence caused by thermals going up and the rest of the air being disturbed. For this possibility, we have a secret skill called active flying, which isn't as much of a contradiction as it sounds, considering we're gliding around in a hammock all day long. Before the wing folds in, we fold it out by pulling briefly on the brakes. If it doesn't work, we have a selection of choice French words. In this situation, should the pilot put his hands up or down? If you put your hands down here, you can stall the wing or make the swing even worse. So your hands should be up, waiting to catch the wing as it passes 12 o'clock. 
In a nutshell, when your toes rise past the horizon, your hands should rise. When your toes drop past the horizon, you pull the brakes. You can learn everything you need to know about that in my wing control course. The mountains lead southwest, so we might as well follow the rule you already know about. A-shaped slopes facing into the sun. There's a big gap at St. Jean de Sixth with a whole lot of forest. A forest is when you get inbreeding between trees, so they whisper to each other and grab at strangers. The lift is hard to find because trees eat sunlight. So early in the day, the forest is cool, shaded and moist. It will only release widespread heat late in the day. But by staying close, I find some broken thermals here to stay in the game of thorns. The air is a bit mixed up at Col de Petuit. It often seems to sneak up the northeast side because nobody is watching it here. It converges with the climbs coming up the warming southwest faces, making the flying a little spicy. But that's okay. The video isn't allowed to get boring, or the algorithm will punish me. Mr. Hamilton. But then I see some airspace come up on my instruments. Now that's annoying. NSC CTR and Chambry TMA have grabbed everything up to 19,500 feet. It's outrageous! You people with your cheap jet flights and aspirations of paragliding in the Alps. Looking at this, can I go straight ahead or should I turn around? Download the Navigator app or XC Track or Fly Sky High so you can see the airspace on your phone. So although I can fly under the first bit of airspace, it soon drops to the ground, so there's no landing zones. Let's go to Lake Annecy instead, so you can enjoy the serenery. The sun has moved across the sky, so we'll use the southwest faces now. If I glide in high enough on the windward slope, I'll find lift and be able to top out with the tooth fairies. If not, I'll be down with the fruit flies over the official Plant Fair launch site. Attention, ne penche pas ton appareil. Unclean ton appareil. Extraordinaire! We've done it! We're going to join the Tooth Fairies above Les Dons de l'Enfant! I take my time to work the gentle thermals here while taking in this spectacular scenery. This place is amazing! I could watch this view all day. Moving through the air adds another dimension. I use the highest points in the landscape to build up my altitude before attempting transitions. This makes your transitions further, so you can cut out tricky terrain. With this altitude, 
I know I can zoom over to the mighty Aravi range, which presents a huge west face baking in the late afternoon sun. I might be able to close the circuit flight and land back at Grand Bonand. But there's a big danger that comes with any good day. There's a gap in the terrain ahead. Should I ignore it and go straight across to the sunny faces for best glide? Or veer out to the left, burning up altitude to give the pass a wide berth? Although you might be okay going straight, if the value wind system is powerful, you can be pinned just behind the spine in the Venturi. It's mid-afternoon, so I expect a strong valley wind coming through the gap before La Cluzaz so I build up extra height before crossing it. This kind of local knowledge could take years to build up. Or you can just buy the Viento wind maps using the link in the description. My members get special prices. If you're quick, you can add your name to the giveaway post in my Flying Academy chat room to win a free map from Viento. Thanks for helping me get over the gap. We're on the final ridge leading past my starting point, which means I can push an imaginary turn point into the digital flight recording round about here and claim a 67 kilometer FAI triangle. Woohoo! This is the most technically challenging flight you can try. So you get extra points from the internet. This also makes the route an A shape, which follows the flow of the day, so makes it easier. In the Northern Hemisphere, start the day on the southeast faces, then switch to southwest faces, and finally come home on a northwestly ridge. Your retrieve driver will love you for it. My reward is some booming lift under the closing cloud. It feels like a graduation cap from a French flying university. I've flown well, made safe decisions, I've seen the best part of the Alps near Annecy. Thanks for being part of my adventure. C'est magnifique. What an amazing area to fly in. To learn more about the Alps, get the starter guide for free right now. Just use the link, scan the code or look in the video description to get the download of the five best sites for beginners and start planning your next adventure. If you'd like to learn the skills to do this kind of flight, join my academy and I'll show you step by step You'll develop the principles of launching, landing, and wing control, and you can plug in at whatever level you're at, so you can master thermaling and head off on your own big XCs. We've been airborne for most of a perfect flying day. Finally, I can glide down to landing and chill out. But you can't. You must check out what happened in the Italian Alps when I took on the wrong kind of cloud. Page, Page, come in for Greg. Yeah, go, Dad. I think I'm going into the thunderstorm here. I can't escape the lift. 